Hey, hey, Rhonda Roseanne here, CPA and Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor with New Business Directions. Today I have a short video on how to record your PPP or Payroll Protection Program funding or your EID, your Economic Injury Disaster Loan funding in your QuickBooks file. Make no mistake about it, these are loans, they're not grants. You do have the ability to earn these funds and you are deferring these loans for six months. The PPP can be deferred for six months and then it converts into a two year 1% loan if you do not apply for and receive forgiveness. So we need to record these two, the PPP and the EID in your QuickBooks file as loans. Now, the intention, what is your intention? Because there are current liabilities and there are long-term liabilities. A two-year loan is a long-term liability. However, if you plan to seek forgiveness and repay the portion that is not forgiven, then this is a current liability. If you intend to turn it into a loan, for the two years, it is a long-term liability. So first you need to figure out what is your intention. And forgiveness is harder than it may seem. You need to spend the money on the approved expenditures within the covered period, the eight weeks after you receive funding from the PPP. And you need to apply for forgiveness. And if you get 100% forgiveness, that's fantastic. It was a current loan, it turns into another income, piece of cake. But if you only get partial forgiveness and you pay back the piece that is not forgiven, then it's still a current liability. And if you do not pay that back and you convert it into a two year 1% loan, then it is a long-term liability. So check your intentions first and then you'll know where to record it in your QuickBooks file. Let's start with QuickBooks Desktop. I am going to share my QuickBooks Desktop file we are in a sample company file here in QuickBooks 2020, and we're going to go to the chart of accounts. And in the chart of accounts, we are going to create an account for the PPP loan, and we're going to create an account for the EID advance or loan. It's as simple as going to right click and then clicking on new, or you can drop down here to account and go to new, or you can hit the control in the N key. If this is a current liability, if you have the intention of paying it back within the year, then it is a current liability. Otherwise, it is a long-term liability if you plan on converting it into a loan. In either case, it's recorded exactly the same. So other current liability, continue, the account name, we're going to call this the SBA PPP loan. And we're going to save and new, and we're going to create the SBA EID loan or advance. You can call this one the advance and save and close. And now in your other current liability section, you have the PPP loan and you have the EID loan. Now, if they were long-term liabilities, it would be as simple as editing the account, changing the account type to long-term liability, doing the same thing with the PPP funds, edit the account, change the account type from other current liability to long-term liability. In either case, they are in your chart of accounts, ready for you to record the funding that you received. Now, if you've received your funding, it was deposited into your bank account, you simply need to record a deposit into these accounts from your home page, record a deposit into whatever checking account this money went to. It probably went into your operating account at whatever date from whatever bank, and then just record it as your PPP funding, the check number, the date that you received it and the amount of money that you received. Let's say it was $25,000, save and close. And now when you look at your chart of accounts, you can see that you now have $25,000 in your SBA PPP loan. That's how you do it in QuickBooks Desktop. 
Let's pop over. I'm going to stop this share and I'm going to share with you my QuickBooks online account. I'm in again a sample company file for Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. And in here, under the accounting tab and over to the chart of accounts, and I want to create a new account for these, I simply click the new button in QuickBooks Online. And this, as I mentioned before, is either a current liability or a long-term liability, depending on your intentions of what you're going to do with the funds. If it is a long-term liability, it's a notes payable. It's the SBA PPP loan. And then you can save and new, and you can create another long-term liability, note payable, SBA EIDL or EID advance, and save and new. Actually, I should have saved and closed. Now, when I go down here and I look at my long-term notes payable, my long-term liabilities, I have these accounts in my chart of accounts. So that's how you add it. That's how you add an account in QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online to track your PPP loan from the SBA or your EID advance from the SBA also. If you have questions about QuickBooks, or need assistance, please start with our website at newbusinessdirections.com. Don't forget to sign up for our YouTube channel. Visit our blog where we have articles like this. And if you need help organizing your chaos or streamlining the process, please give us a call. It's okay. We can help. Stay safe.